glad you could clear your schedule. Okay, you gotta go, you gotta go. Glad you could clear your schedule. Mind if I just peruse? If you're not gonna buy anything, yes. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate? Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? So, ready? To my untrained ear, sounds all right. I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but... Not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. Let's get out of here. You're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town. Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. The jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Um, Johnny? Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. I'm ready. Your daddy? Uh, hey, um, hey. Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the court brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about any bootlegs from the rainbow cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah. I'm looking for the real deal. 
Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck! First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. I'm not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverman. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd. Not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think of a million conversations we had. There were no witnesses. I used to, uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scoff. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. <laughs> Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kiroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey, Johnny, get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your stupid sidekick. Well, can't wait all day. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy. A blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed, wore a wig for a few weeks, never did get herself any tech hair. Hang on, hang on. Now I remember. There was a fire. Ah, poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it. Tossed a sig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That sig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble is Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come, have at it. Appreciate it. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to court. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut. Stuck in the past. Want them to change. Then, and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup with fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka. Same old shit. Different package. But something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but it's change all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. Thank you. 